Okay, so we're going to set up a simple scan to folder using Sharp software for your device. So it's www.sharp.co.uk. Okay, when the page loads, we're going to look for support. And we're going to look for support for dealers and partners and drivers and manuals tab. Uh, product is the name of the machine that's on the front of the sticker, so it has to have the hyphen in it, so make sure that's correct. And we've got one of these machines, 303WH, for test purposes today. We'll click on software and we're looking for Network Scanner Lite Tool 2.0. Click download that. So once this is downloaded and we'll click it, it should self extract the software. Um, what this will do, we'll add the scanner tool and we'll go through the process of setting up a folder on your C drive for it to scan to as well. Okay, so just follow the prompts, English. And this will take probably a minute or two to set up. Uh, typical install, click next. Okay, there'll be a little blue icon on the bottom of your taskbar if you click that. Uh, and it will look for the scanners. Uh, this one will pick up uh, four devices in total because that's the machines we've got connected at the office. But we're looking for an MXC 303WH uh, with an IP address of uh, .250. If you just have one machine on the network, it will only show up. Uh, we can deselect the ones we don't want, but we're just going to... For setup purposes, we're going to use all four of them and it will set up a folder on each. Okay, there's the bottom one we need, which is the MXC 303WH uh, with the office one. Okay, this is the initial setting it's going to come up with on the folder on the front screen of the address book. We're just going to put admin. And if you put the initial in there as well, if, if it looks for it alphabetically, okay. Like I said, we've got four devices, so it's going to add a folder to each of them, but it won't happen on your device. It, it will just look for the one that you've got on your network. We'll click Next. Okay, Launch Network Scanner Tool. This will add the profile from the software to the address book on the printer to scan. And it'll take another few seconds to come through. Okay, there's the profiles. Uh, we're going to delete the email one at the top because it's basically obsolete. We'll get rid of that. And that's the folder we want. Okay, if we click on properties and move to folder, that's the default setting. And what we're going to do is add a folder to the C drive. So if you click C drive, make new folder, and I'll, we've called our scans. Okay, and wait for that to um, verify and OK on the screen. Okay, you click OK. That's where it's going to. C, C drives and scans. OK. We'll click OK on there. And what we're going to do is test the scan function on the printer itself. So if you go to the scan function, you'll see the folder that you've just created in the address book highlight that scan a document to it it'll take a few seconds to come through and there should be a little blue pop-up box on the right hand side of your PC to say that the folder has a document in it as confirmation so we'll just wait for that to come through. There it is. Okay, you can click open the folder from this tab and it'll show you where the folder has gone into. It's gone into our scans folder. Okay, um, instead of looking through this for the C drive, 
all the time will create a shortcut so from your folders tab on the machine if you click this PC and local disk C you'll see the scans folder if you right click it create shortcut and that if it doesn't come up with a prompt will automatically put that shortcut on your desktop 